man should be free to talk about what he wants. Do you understand that basic principle of humanity? So why are you restricted from, like if you go to Quran 5, 101, yeah? Ayah 5, Ayah 5, Surah 101. Yeah? I don't know. Sorry, Surah, Surah 5, Ayah 101. Excuse me. Now, it, it gives you a stipulation right, of, of reasons why you should not ask questions about things that bother you. Whereas in natural humanity, if you've got a problem with your religion, you're going to want to ask if it's, a, if it's a problem to you. But it's telling you, if it's a problem to you, don't ask. Does that make sense to you? And then in the following verse, it gives you the reason. Because people who asked left Islam. It's telling you that once you start noticing the faults and the holes and the cracks in Islam and you start asking questions, you'll leave. Yeah! Because you'll realize it's a false doctrine. It says it in your Quran. Surah 5. 101. 101. 101. How did it stop? Stop. Yo, that's that. I know it's a Christian, but still with we the So we He's not. Uh, he's got. He's, somebody's got having trouble finding the surah. You want me to find it for you? I'll read the surah for you. Because he's having problems finding it for some reason. His own book. No, no, it's okay, brother. But this is just another tactic that you're taught to do. No, no, I'm not But that's fine. Let me read it for you. Let me read it for you. Right, this is what it says. This is what it says. And I'm going to read you Hilali Khan, right? No, no, Hilal Khan. Which, which, which translation do you want? Just give me the, let me read the Arabic first so I can get the idea. Now he's running to the Arabic. Okay, read, okay. Surely for the English speakers, read, read the Khan, please. Read the Don't waste my time. Read the Khan. Hey, Khan. Is that okay? Right, this is what it says. This is what it says. It says, O oh, you, oh, you who believe, ask not about things which, if made plain to you, may cause you trouble. So it, it says they may Things made plain to you may cause you trouble. But if you ask them while the Quran is being revealed, they will be made plain to you. Allah has forgiven that, and Allah is of forgiven most forbearing. So it's saying here, I can go to the tafsir if you want, but what it's saying is, don't ask things... 101, right? This is 101 here. Look, yeah. 101. Doesn't say it here. This is 101. The you actually give me wrong instruction. So you have given me wrong instruction. Look. Surah, this is surah five. Say. This is surah five. So you know, you know, I know. No, 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 no. Surah five. Okay, look, look. Listen to me. Look surah here. Look five. at the knowledge. Don't look at me. I'm not. I'm, I'm not the iPhone. Here. This is the iPhone. Here. Forget that. Look at this. Surah five. 101. Put some more light on it. That's the full light. Okay, that's the full light. Good. Don't ask about things. Things that bother you, right? So they may frighten you or cause you trouble. Don't ask about those things. Don't you think it's a natural? Uh, so what do you think those things? Well, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question. It's bothering humanity. Don't you think that's a natural human tendency? Don't you think that's a human right? to ask about things, it needs to do with your eternal soul. If they start to bother you, don't you think you've got a right to ask? So why is it commanding you not to? It, it says, tells no, you, no, no, no. I'll tell you in the next verse. It it says, yeah, Let me go to the next verse. Let me go to the next it verse. It says, don't ask, because if you, if you, if you answer things you, that frighten you, about things that frighten you. Not frighten you, say frighten me. Those words, it's on camera, bro. Those are your words. That's my words, yeah, I agree. Okay. That's my words. So let me go to 102, right? 102 gives you the reason why you shouldn't ask. And it says, oh, you believe, ask. Make sure I've got the right. Actually, it doesn't mention. Let me, it. let me search it. Let me search it. I didn't search it. The translator is as well stupid. <laughs> the guy who translated it because he didn't.
translate it right. Right, and what it says is, because before you, a community asked such questions, then on that account, they became disbelievers. So it's saying in Surah 5, 101, that you shouldn't ask about things that bother you about Islam. It goes on to tell you the reason in Surah 5, 102, that if you do, you'll be like the people that did. Once they started asking questions, they left. And this is why you're in bondage. Your, your Sharia, your jurisprudence, says to you, don't criticize Muhammad. You know there's a whole bunch of things to criticize. Oh, you can criticize him if you want. You can fight him as oh, well. Oh, hold on. Can you, you put can, the you camera on him? him? Say on camera that it's okay to criticize Muhammad. Actually, Muhammad... No, say on camera it's okay to criticize Muhammad. Criticize Muhammad or not. People no, are doing, doing it. it. That's why people are doing it anyways. People are doing it anyways. Okay. But he won't doing it. It doesn't matter if I say it or not. People are doing it anyways. No, what I'm saying about you, brother, as a Muslim, yeah? Is it okay for you? Forget about me as a disbeliever. As a Muslim, are you allowed to criticize Muhammad? Don't criticize me. Oh. Slandering? No. See, the stipulation of criticism is just pointing out something bad or a fault about a person. Yeah? You can have constructive criticism when you can say, that's bad, do this in order to be better. Right? But you're not even allowed to criticize in order to have constructive criticism in Islam. Because there's many things that Muhammad did which you could have constructive criticism over. Thereby saying, if a prophet did this, that's bad. A prophet should do this. That's constructive. But you're not even allowed to go there. You're not even allowed to question the things that bother you about your religion. That's true. You're that not means he's put you in, in the, chains. In the Muslim brother. country, Arab countries, you're not allowed to do that. Why? Because, uh, you think that's fair? Because that's how the regimes are. But I'm asking you, as a fellow human being, yeah. is that right? Not to be able to question things that bother you about your eternal soul. Yeah, you have to question, but with respect, of course. Okay, so if I was respectfully to say to you, brother, you're my brother in humanity, and I've got the love of Christ for everyone here, including you. Right? I'm concerned about the prophet you're following. Because somehow he doesn't follow the prophets from the Old Testament. All the prophets line up and agree. They're very harmonious. In which case? And, until Muhammad. So I'm concerned because Muhammad's supposed to fit. Where did they, where he's did supposed to, if he's the last of the prophets, he's supposed to fit with all those that came before him. But he doesn't. And I'm concerned about it. So I'm willing to, I want to ask you. So I'm going to ask you some certain amount of questions. Is it okay for me to ask a certain amount of questions? Yeah, I will. Uh, about that? I can't answer all the questions, but I will try my best answer. Okay. Ask. The Bible clearly speaks about um, the stipulations for um, the early church. It talks about what kind of a character. And now, when I say, I'm going to give you, the, I'm going to give you the question. It, it talks about the character of a bishop. Talks about these are the leaders of the early church when Christianity kicked off after the resurrection of Jesus. It, it spread like wildfire, so they needed leaders. But it said the leaders must be of a certain character. Yeah? They must be, it says it all over, they must be the husband of one wife. One wife. Right? Also, when you go to the Old Testament in the Ten Commandments, one of the Ten Commandments is you shall not commit adultery. Jesus himself said that you must not divorce your wife the only reason you can divorce your wife is by if one of, or one of you do fornication if there's some kind of sexual infidelity within the marriage that is the only reason you can divorce your wife but that's not so in Islam in Islam all you have to say is talak 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 and you are divorced now in the eyes of Jesus and God doesn't matter about those three words you're still married to that woman so why is he going against Jesus' own words? If he's a prophet, why is he going against what Jesus said? That's one example. Okay, give me another example. Because this one... Uh, have you got an answer, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Will you attempt to have an answer yes, that, please? Maybe he knows. Ask about the, 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 about the thing. Yeah, go, talak, talak. It's a wide topic. It's a wide topic, man. You cannot I'm not talak. Talak. You can, can, same way as you get married, you have to have witnesses. Yeah. Talak, you have to have witnesses. You cannot say talak, talak. Your talak is not becomes valid. Yeah. Yeah. To this day. Somebody yeah. who's not even married. Do okay. you understand how I'm not questioning the parameters okay. of saying so, talak? I don't blame you. 
because certain people, what they from all, certain people is they believe in three talaks. I think it's what do, you, what do you believe? In? What I believe? Yes. I believe on talak with the witnesses. The same way you got married uh -huh. with the witnesses, a talak shall so, be with. So you shall can you yes. can you divorce your wife? Yes. For any other reason, apart from adultery, yes. In Islam, in your belief, in Islam? yeah. Can you divorce your wife for any other reason? This man's nodding his head. Are you a Muslim, sir? Thank you. So, are you going to agree with this man? Because he's saying that you can divorce your wife. I heard him say that. Oh, sorry. I'm speaking to you. Right? I'll ask you again. Can you divorce your wife for any other reason apart from fornication in your belief in Islam? Only well, if there's adultery, yes. Only in adultery? Yes. Have you got references to back that up? You don't have references to back that up. There's no, that, that, that's the law of the marriage. There is a surah in Nisa, the chapter that's of the, the law. So I haven't even completed it to the be same, with you. The same law applies for the Christians and the Jews. Applies for the Honestly, you lying, I'm not lying to you. What hard hold on it? That's a sin itself. Why are you calling me a liar? That's okay. a sin by itself. Okay. See? Now we we discuss it. We we're not the best. Yes. Yes. You're gonna show me hadith? No, no, wait a second, wait a second. Let's see what I know, know that you don't have any references. Tell me if I'm wrong to back what you just said. Am I correct? No, no. I'm asking you, do you have any references to back up what you just said? But that's that's the law. That's no, the law I'm of the land. You need some backup. Yes no. Do you need some references? Backup? What the, you same, just said. the same backup, which is I just divorced my wife in this country. No, no, it's no about that's about literal, 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 literal. Quranic, I think in the Al Kafi, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it does mention it's There's something. Yeah, but yeah where? Yes. Something Do you have any references? That's all. I haven't gone into it. Yet. See, they're so. debating with themselves no, 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 how no. to get out of this. No, no, it's no, not, not debating. That's what you're doing. No, just say so you don't have references. No, we're trying. Just say that. It's not. It's not. It's not a conspiracy against you, mate. It's not a conspiracy against you. It's fine. It's fine. Let them I know that you're done. I know you think you are black. And you're, you're, we're right, and it's against you, no let, man. Let, let me talk about. Let me talk about on the same subject, the same subject right, about Muhammad not following what the prophets did. Therefore, he can't be a prophet. Right. Deuteronomy says that if anybody comes in the name of other gods, Abu what? Other gods. But Muhammad didn't come in name of other gods. Wait, brother, he said, La brother, brother, No, but I'm not giving you the answer. You brother, brother, brother. But I'm asking him. Brother, but he I have know, the answer for this question. I have don't even know the question. He doesn't know that. I know the question. You said, if he came with the other name of God. Muhammad said, Allah, his name is Yahweh. Allahu la ilaha illa. Do you have a reference to Baghdad? Yeah, I have a reference to Baghdad. Surah, Surah Yahweh, Quran, Surah Quran. Surah Quran. in the Quran. Yes. The translation says Yahweh in Arabic. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what do you like? Listen, Why listen, you like? because you're a liar, bro. You're no different to Shamsi. Allahu la ilaha. That's why you're smiling, bro. Because you know what he's trying to do. He's gonna show you. Take a deep breath. You know what he's trying to do. Take a deep breath. This is. Take a deep breath. Don't tell me to take a deep breath. We are modest. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I understand what you're saying. Allahu la ilaha illallah. Who are you? 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 Yahweh, Yahweh is a Hebrew name of Allah. No, 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 don't, because that's what they say about me. That's what they say about me. bro. That's what they say about me too. Let me go to another, let me go to another. I have the answer for question. Don't go to the Arabic, because I know what you're doing. I have the answer for question. I know you're anti-Arabic. You're anti-Arabic. I'm not going to... You you can't I'm Arabic. Do I speak Arabic? You don't speak Arabic. How am I going to confirm what you just said? You're anti-Arabic. That's why you won't understand this. Uh, okay. Because you made your mind already. Say whatever you want to say. It says here in Arabic, Yahweh. But you're denying me that point, okay? You're deducting that point from me, okay? What is it? It says, Allah, 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 Allah. not written in the Quran. He said, Muhammad came with a new God. Yahweh is not written in the Quran. But you're willing to say it's written in the Quran. Yahweh is written here. It's not in the Quran. Allah, Huwa, 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 Hawa, Hawa, Hawa. It says Hawa. La Allah, 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 I'm just actually, be, just, I have my original language, Quran enough. and Arabic, I'm humble. Just be humble enough to evidence. say you don't know. There's no shame in not knowing anything. I give you evidence. There's no shame in not knowing. Rather than you fabricate something, 
and How embarrass you yourself in front of everyone. Learn the Arabic Stop alphabet. Fabricating. It's only 30 words. Be honest. Learn the Arabic alphabet okay. and then you're going to check it and now, you know I'm going to go to another okay. commandment, right? I'm going to go to another commandment. It's only 30 words Arabic Hebrew, uh, Arabic alphabet, so you don't have an excuse. It's not that I'm going to go to another. You could probably make it. You're smart. You could probably learn the language, I think. You. And you're going to sign this. Now, now Galatians 1, 8 to 9 says, but if, if we or any angel from heaven, this is, right? This is in Galatians 1, chapter 1, this is Bible, verses right? 8 to 9. This New is Testament. the Bible. New Testament, okay. But if we or any angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be accursed. As we have said before, so and now I say again, if anyone preaches another gospel to you than what we have received, let him be accursed. And what that gospel is, is that Jesus Christ is the Son of God in the living flesh. He left heaven and died for mankind, nailed all of our sins to the cross. He died, conquered death, and he rose again for the redemption of everyone that believes. Is that your gospel? Can I ask you a question? Do you, believe, you want to ask a question? Do you believe, do you believe, is that your gospel? Do you believe, do you believe Jesus? Does, sorry, 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 sorry. Is that your gospel? Wait, is that your gospel? Let me ask you. It's a different gospel. Which I believe, means I believe. Muhammad is a cursed no, 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 according no, no, no. to the New Testament. Muhammad is not cursed. Muhammad is not cursed. Okay? It is a different gospel. Some people who came brothers, after Muhammad, brothers, they changed this Islam. This is why we okay? come here. Some people came after Muhammad. Not to demean you. Not to demean you.